Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss JavaScript write method. We know that in JavaScript, a name followed by pair of parentheses is usually identified as a method or a function. Hence, write is a method or a function because it is followed by pair of parentheses or pair of brackets. The write method is present within JavaScript document object. Hence we say write method is a member method of document object. To access write method we use dot operator. Dot operator is also known as member access operator. That means if you want to access a member of any object we use dot operator. JavaScript write method is used to write or display some content in the browser window. You can think write as a writer who is responsible for writing the given content in the browser window. The content passed to the write method is also known as a parameter or an argument. It is also known as a parameter or an argument. To write method we can pass a single value or an expression. We can pass a single value or an expression. If you are passing a single value or an expression that is also known as single argument. Passing a single argument. To write method we can pass multiple values separated by commas. You can see here we are passing 2 comma 2. Here we are passing a string 2 comma string 2. That is actually known as passing multiple arguments. We discuss various terminologies like parameters, arguments, method, function while discussing JavaScript functions. So at present you need not to worry much about these terminologies. Just you need to understand how we use write method and where it is present, why we use the dot operator, various things. Some of the important notes to be remembered. Parentheses are evaluated innermost to the outermost. That means the innermost parenthesis is going to be evaluated first. Then slowly it comes outside, outside up to the outermost parenthesis. Plus operators are evaluated from left to right. That means the leftmost plus is evaluated first. Then the right, then the right, then the right up to the rightmost. Similarly, Comma separators are evaluated from left to right. That means this is going to be evaluated first than this. Okay. Let's have a demonstration and get a clear idea. I go to notepad. You can see that I have already opened default.html in the notepad. It has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to JavaScript video tutorials. In the body section, I have already written the script tag. I have already opened default.html in the Firefox. Title is set to JavaScript video tutorials. I go to notepad. Within the script tag, I say document.write. I say here, hello world, exclamation mark, double quotation, semicolon. You can see I am passing a single value to the write method. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the write method has displayed hello world exclamation mark on the document. Now instead of hello world I want to display the sum of. Now the write method is going to display the sum of on the screen. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see the sum of got displayed. I actually want to append a number to the sum of that is 2. I want to append to it. To append the number 2, I can write here plus 2, right? We know that on the left hand side we have a string, the right hand side we have a number. The plus operator is going to work as a concatenation operator. It is going to concatenate these two, that is it is going to append these two to the sum of. We get the output, the sum of 2. File, save, go to browser and refresh. We got the sum of Two, I want to add a space here. So here I give a space, file, save, 
go to browser and refresh. I got the output the sum of space 2. Now I want to append plus sign here. I want to display the sum of 2 plus on the screen. To display the plus I have to append again. So I say here plus in double quotations I write plus. Now how the browser is going to evaluate this expression? It's an expression. It's not a single value. It's an expression, right? We are having here plus signs, more than one plus sign. When we have more than one plus sign, we know that the browser is going to evaluate the plus operators from left to right. First, it evaluates the first plus operator. Left hand side, we have a string. Right hand side, we have a number. So it concatenates both of them we get the final result, the sum of 2, a string we get, the sum of 2, right? Then again, it evaluates the next plus operator. Left hand side, we have a string. Right hand side, we have a string. So, it concatenates them together. We get the final result, the sum of 2 plus. File, save, go to browser and refresh. It has displayed sum of 2 plus. I go back to the same coding. So here I say double quotations plus 2. Then I say here double quotations plus. This is going to give us a result the sum of 2 plus. File, save, go to browser and refresh. I am getting the same output. You can see that. I want to add some space before the plus, after the plus. File, save, go to browser and refresh. I got the output, the sum of space 2 space plus. Again, I want to append 2 here. To display the 2, again, I have to append it, right? So, I say here plus 2. This time, of course, this is how it is going to be evaluated, friends. Let me copy this and show you the evaluation process. Here I say, control V. This is how it is going to evaluate. First, it evaluates this plus sign, left to right, right? When it evaluates this expression, it is going to be like this. The result is going to be 2 double quotation, right? Again, the next plus is going to be evaluated from here to here. Left hand side a string, right hand side a string. So plus works like a concatenation operator. It concatenates this, right? The final result is going to be like this. The sum of 2 plus double quotation. Then again, it evaluates the next plus expression, left hand side a string, right hand side a number. So it works like a concatenation operator. It concatenates the two. The final result we get is the sum of space 2 space plus space 2 on the screen. Let's see that. Control X. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see we got the sum of space 2 space plus space 2, right? Next, I want to append equal to sign. To append equal to sign, again, I have to use a plus sign. In double quotations, I have to write equal to sign. Before the equal to sign, I want one space. After the equal to sign, I want some space. Now, how this expression is going to be evaluated? Let's see that. I copy that, paste here. We know that first, the plus sign is going to be evaluated, the leftmost plus sign, because we have more than one plus sign. As left hand side is a string, right hand side is a number, the plus sign work as a concatenation operator. So, it concatenates both of them. The result is going to be the sum of space 2. Next, it takes the next plus sign here. Left hand side is string, right hand side is string. So, it concatenates them together. The final result is going to be the sum of 2 plus space Next, it takes the next plus sign. We know that left hand side is string, right hand side is number. It works as a concatenation operator. So, it concatenates them, gives a result string. We get the result, the sum of 2 plus 2. Then, it takes the next plus sign. Left hand side is string, right hand side is string. We get the result as a concatenation because plus sign work as a concatenation, right? We get the result the sum of space 2 space plus space 2 space equal to space. Let's see that. Control X, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see we got the sum of 
space to space plus space to space equal to space. Next, I want to display here 4. To display the 4, I have to append plus 4. Right? File, save, go to browser and refresh. I got the 4. Instead of displaying this 4, I actually want to use the calculation. Instead of 4, let the browser to calculate 2 plus 2. Now, it should display here 4. Right? If I save file, save, go to browser and refresh, it is not displaying 4. The reason is, it is evaluating the expression from left to right. While evaluating, it is actually performing a concatenation operation on 2 and 2. Let's see how it is working actually. I am going to copy that and paste here. Let's see how it is evaluating. As we know that there are more than one plus sign we have. When we have more than one plus sign, the browser evaluates the expression from left to right. So leftmost plus is going to be evaluated first. Left hand side a string, right hand side a number. The plus sign work like a concatenation operator. It concatenates the sum of two, right? That is the final result which is going to be a string, right? Then it takes the next plus sign left hand side a string, right hand side a string, it works like a concatenation operator, it concatenates both of them. The final result is going to be the sum of space to space plus space. Next it takes the next plus sign, it evaluates that expression, left hand side a string, right hand side a number, plus sign works like a concatenation operator. When it concatenates, the final result is going to be of type string. Then it takes the next plus sign. It evaluates that expression from here to here. Left hand side a string, right hand side a string. It works like a concatenation operator. It concatenates both of them. The final result is going to be a string. The space sum space of space to space plus space to space equal to space. Then it takes the next plus sign. You can see that here we have left hand side a string, right hand side a number plus works as a concatenation operator. It concatenates and gives a result double quotation. That is a string friends, right? Again, it takes the next plus sign, left hand side a string, right hand side a number. So it concatenates both of them. The final result is going to be the sum of 2 plus 2 equal to 2, 2. That's what we are getting here. The sum of 2 plus 2 equal to 2, 2, not the 4. How do we get the 4 instead of 2, 2? How do we display 4 there instead of 2, 2? To display the 4, what you have to do is, you have to use parenthesis. You have to put 2 plus 2 in parenthesis, friends. I told here, parentheses are evaluated innermost to outermost. So first innermost parenthesis is going to be evaluated, then the outermost. So here the innermost parenthesis is going to be evaluated first, then the outermost parenthesis friends. Let's see this time we get what? If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, I am getting the result. The sum of 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. How it is working? Let me demonstrate that here. Control V. Okay. First, it is going to evaluate the inner parenthesis, right? So here, 2 plus 2, left hand side a number, right hand side a number, it is going to give a number 4. Next, it is going to evaluate the outermost parenthesis. The outermost parenthesis is this, right? So first, left hand side a string, right hand side a number, plus sign works as a concatenation operator, it concatenates that and gives a string, the sum of 2. Then it takes the next plus sign, right? Left hand side a string, right hand side a string. So it works like a concatenation operator. It concatenates them and gives a string, the sum of 2 plus. Then it takes the next plus sign, right? It takes the next plus sign. Left hand side a string, right hand side a number. It works like a concatenation operator. It concatenates them, gives a string. Then it takes the next plus sign. It evaluates this expression. 
the sum of 2 plus 2 is a string then right hand side we have a string it is going to concatenate them and gives a result the sum of 2 plus 2 equal to then it takes the next plus sign left hand side is string right hand side a number so works like a concatenation operator it gives a result a string the sum of 2 plus 2 equal to 4 that is a string we are giving to the outer parenthesis of the write method so what the write method does it displays this the sum of 2 plus 2 equal to 4 on the browser window that's how it works friends i hope you guys have clearly understood one of the difficulty we face with the plus sign is it is very difficult to understand which plus sign it is evaluating if you observe carefully it looks like this plus operator is taking left hand side some string right hand side some string it gives a confusion and also we need to use parenthesis to suppress or overwrite the meaning right let me demonstrate how the comma operator is used and how it is easy to display the same information the sum of 2 plus 2 equal to 4 here I say document dot dot write in double quotations I use the break tag then I say here document dot write first thing I say a string I pass the sum of space double quotation this document dot write is now going to display the sum of space on the screen file save go to browser and refresh you can see the sum of space is displayed next I want to append 2 I want to display 2 what you need here is you just need to use just a comma and write 2 automatically this 2 is going to be displayed after the sum of file save go to browser and refresh you can see we displayed the sum of 2 remember that this is an expression whereas this is a multiple arguments we are passing more than one values this is a string value this is a number type of a value right then I want to display plus sign by giving a space right so here I use comma then I use double quotation space plus space double quotation file save go to browser and refresh you can see it has displayed the plus sign next I want to display 2 here I say comma 2 file save go to browser and refresh it has displayed 2 next I want to display space equal to space to display that I write comma double quotations space equal to space double quotation file save go to browser and refresh it has displayed equal to sign next I want to display 2 plus 2 so I write here comma 2 plus 2 automatically this expression is evaluated as we don't have any string here plus sign right 2 plus 2 is having a number on the left hand side a number on the right hand side it is going to be 4 friends file save go to browser and refresh you can see I am getting 4 not 2 comma 2 the comma operator is very very useful with respect to the document dot write method it solves a lot of conflicts for us here very easily we can understand the output with respect to this is more complex this is more easier so I suggest to people to try using comma instead of the plus sign if you feel plus sign is more easier for you to use you can use that okay let's summarize this tutorial quickly write is a method present in the document object to access the write method we use the dot member access operator to the write method we can pass a single value or we can pass an expression or we can pass more than one values separated by commas parentheses are evaluated from innermost to the outermost if there are multiple plus signs left to right the plus signs are evaluated and if there are more than one commas left to right commas are evaluated I hope you guys have clearly understood for this tutorial this much is enough friends I suggest you people to try experimenting watch this video again and again understand everything clearly if you have any doubts please post the comment for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial